so the onboard fingerprint scanner has just finally made it to a device. If you're excited about that, I'm i7 Tech and let's get into this video. Now, the onboard fingerprint scanner has been leaked and a lot of tech reviewers have been talking about when the actual onboard fingerprint scanner is going to be making an appearance. And it seems that now 2018 is the year. Now with every first gen technology, it's gonna have its problems. It's not gonna be as robust from any other second to third generation technology. You know, you're gonna find a, a little bit of mistakes, but with this onboard fingerprint scanner, I think it's headed in the right direction. Now having said that, now, so I'll show you some tips of the onboard fingerprint scanner and how it actually works. So it really works pretty well from first glance. But you, if you use it a lot, it kind of makes the mistakes a little bit by not reading your fingerprint. But you know, as I've said, it's in its first generation, so it's gonna get improved over time. And you know, Synaptics is really working hard to get this onboard fingerprint scanner to work perfectly. Now, the, as I've said, you know, they've been working with Apple and Samsung with no luck in getting this fingerprint scanner to work properly but with vivo they actually done it i don't know how maybe in later days or in later stages they'll share how this actually worked maybe they took away some of the main features that samsung and apple were actually wanting on a smartphone that's why they didn't want to put it so early you know messing about with what their you know internals are it's kind of understandable but now that it is already on a smartphone it ever brings up so much pressure for these companies to really put it on their smartphone whether they do it in the s9 or the next iphone 11 or iphone x1 or iphone 10 one x yeah you get the gist Leave me your thoughts in the comments down below and tell me what you think about this onboard fingerprint scanner. What you think about it? Is it good? Would you consider buying the smartphone because of it? And that brings me to my next thing. Like, I don't think a lot of people will buy a smartphone just for the fingerprint scanner because it's in this first generation. Maybe they'll wait till the second or third generation. Normally, first, normally for me, I wait till the third generation to buy a smartphone because I think the third generation is more robust and the company has, you know, ironed out all of the problems and you'll have less problems on a smartphone in this third generation than you would in this first generation. So something to bear in mind. But also leave it in the comments and tell me if you would buy a smartphone just to have a smartphone with a fingerprint scanner on the display. But it's really interesting, as a tech reviewer, we live for these type of things and these type of technologies that really change the game and change, you know, how we see or feel or interact with our smartphones. So, yeah, leave me a comment down below. This has been a quick video. If I know more in terms of the smartphone specs and what is the internal in the smartphone, in terms of battery life, display, and RAM, and in internal storage, I'll let you guys know in a future video. Anyway, it's been nice and take me guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out my other content because I make decent amount of content on this channel. So, yeah, if you like this type of stuff, consider subscribing. It's been nice and take, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hold me close till I get up. 